Rat Trap Productions, we teach you how to do stuff. This is not code. That is bare Romex coming from a switch that somehow is supplying that outlet with power. That's my assumption. Then we have more bare Romex. It's going all the way up and disappearing in the roof and it is feeding that electrical right there. So that electrical is going off of that switch. It is supposed to turn this on, which is supposed to turn on a fluorescent light. Here's what I really don't get. They went through all this effort, risking burning down the house, when they had this power supply at their disposal for the entire time. If you look at that light, every time I hit the switch, there it is. I'm gonna show you how to restore this back to code. This has always had power. I assumed they were bringing power from here and bringing it over here to put another outlet in. Wrong. They always had this one. They were tapping off of this power to put a switch that went up and was controlled there. So my job just got easier. I assumed I was going to have to fish wire down here to feed this outlet. All I have to do is disassemble this, take this out of this wiring, and I can eliminate that and that. Uh, cut power, obviously, at the box. Cut, just cut these wires. Okay. Power's cut to this one, obviously. Take this power and I'm gonna move it over to this box. That box is gonna have two banks of fluorescent lighting attached to those outlet. And it's gonna be controlled from that switch that was originally installed. Dress myself about three feet of Romex. Uh, I put it up through the box because this box is now empty. And I threw it over there because that's where that power is that I'm gonna tap from. But what I'm gonna do first is dress this correctly. So there's a strip gauge on the side of this. You really don't want this stripped part longer than that because then that means some of the copper will be sticking out and there is a chance that that copper can get touched by something and spark and trip the breaker and all that bad stuff. So you really don't want any sticking out. Follow the directions. Black goes on this side, white goes on this side. Yep. I'm going to push it in, and then we're going to tighten this up. Same thing with the white. Push it in, tighten it up. And don't forget about the ground. Now I can go ahead and put this in. Here I am up in the ceiling and it looks like that's my guy. There's my new Romex. There's my new outlet. So I'm going to punch that out. Make myself a nice big hole which to put the Romex in. I can grab my new Romex and I can just put that right through. Just like that. Okay. Bada boom, bada bing. Now we gotta dress this, but that's down here. <laughs> boom. Boom. Trip. Take these whites, twist them together. Take the blacks, twist them together. Take the grounds. There we go. Just to make sure I'm gonna test. If these two show and this one does not, that means it's good. Anything else and there's a problem. Let's put on these side outlets. 
here and here. So I'm going to cut this. Snippy poo. Snippy poo. Snip that. <clears throat> See ya. Put all this goodness back. Boom. Much better lighting anyway, don't you think? We absolutely fixed all of this code-breaking, horrible, house fire wannabe kind of backyard repair. Cleaned it all up. This is back to code. This is empty. That's code. That outlet's code now. It's all set. And look at the garage is much brighter as a result. Rat Trap Productions, we teach you how to do stuff. Today I showed you how to figure out backyard wiring, fix it, and actually improve your place all at the same time.